What's up everybody? It's the King Twins coming at ya and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Nothing is wrong, Dutch. Always. Always. This is like the third time. Third time. You guys are always fucking fighting about that shit. Uncle? The stew is currently being prepared. Okay, I wasn't even going for it. Okay, so welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. We're... God damn, Tilly, you're co stone cold. Says she needed the money. Her son had lost his leg in the war. Fighting for the wrong side. No doubt, but she was old. Real old. Wow, Tilly. Reckon she feels bad for the war. Oh, Susan? Mr. Morgan. What's up, Susan? Can I ask you a favor? It, if it's convenient, I mean. Depends. Depends. If you're out on your adventures and you see any herbs for seasoning i do you see herbs for me? i i don't have a problem with that yes uh. tell mr pearson his <laughs> 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 his oh his cooking oh oh i need some seasoning <laughs> no that's not a problem i mean we come i come across herbs all the time i mean if i honestly like if I, i'm sure if i were to look around right now i'd be able to see some okay maybe not right now but okay so we're here. We're at the camp. There's um Sadie over there. And I mean really the only people that I could do missions for right now is oh I thought I was heading over to Trelawney. Nope, Trelawney's on the opposite end. So here at camp, Trelawney is here. So I could do something for him and it's yellow. So that's that's all I care about. Is you, you need to be a yellow um, yellow mission for me to do the damn thing. And then we got Hosea. So Hosea, since you're way over there, I'm gonna deal with Trelawney for now and then after I get done with whatever Trelawney wants us to do wants me to do I'm gonna head over to Jose see how Jose is done But yeah that little argument that Molly and Dutch Get in that's like the third or fourth time. I've heard that one. So Like it might just not I don't know I wonder am I supposed to listen to it for it to register that I've already listened to it and then it's never gonna happen again or is it just it just it happens, right? Like it's timed. It's gonna be a thing that's gonna keep happening, and I just happen to keep on catching it. Are you busy on oh fuck! I gotta go with Micah. Hello, hey, Arthur. Hey, Arthur. No, we're well, good. What's up, Trelawney? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words. A what? A lot of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've I found something interesting. Yeah. Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course, I robbed a guy. I was gonna say, like, wait, are you coach? fucking kidding you know me? I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The odds. Oh, it's a rhetorical question. Put a bullet in your head. Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me. I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I huh. could require a whole lot. So where <laughs> do you find this friend of yours? Rhodes. Because what can possibly go wrong there? All right, well. Lead the way and we'll find out. All right, you got it there, Trelawney. Hey, <laughs> oh, my, my hitch. Or my whatever you want to call it, my reins, we're not letting go. All right, Trelawney. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How you end up down here anyway? That's what I want to know. The same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats. Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Oh! Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. That's what you're Until, doing now? Well, that unfortunate... Oh, that, that, yeah, you were doing that, huh? That's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. Are you being sarcastic? I've done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. Huh. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. Right, I agree. It's a small town. People talk. 
I tried to mention yeah. it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway. Seemed like he'd be all the more like, yeah, we need to wash our asses. Hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So there ain't no gold. Exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden. Is right here. Fellow. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. You got it. There you go. Nice, nice hitch. I love it when a hitch comes in all perfect like that. Who the fuck are you talking to? Come on. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. Why? I want to scare him off. Do I look like a scary fellow? Is it because I don't got the pomade in my hair so I look a little a little shaggy? I look like all these other gentlemen around here. You gonna use your hands, Trelawney? You just throw your body against the doors. So what do you want me to do? Am I supposed to? I don't know what you want me to do. Hang back a little bit. Here, I'll just. Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? There you go. Can I? Can I hide against this wall? Like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> of they course, right? <laughs> nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. <laughs> and, uh, here and I are Even nowadays, right? The adequate fulfillment of our duty. A what are you looking at over there? No Bald and man? No man at all. My friend Arthur here yeah. has a present for you. Yeah, let me introduce myself. Pay him? Okay. Here. Ain't you kind, sir? Okay, Call why did- Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this okay. is perfect. Time. Well, I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Hmm. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. So I had to pay you for your information. Oh, Is that what you're Josiah, telling me? If you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. Hey. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it. Discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye. Alden. <laughs> should I say? He said, well, goodbye. Adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. Okay. Nice. Happy we did that. Why did we do that? What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. Coach coming south down, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Ah, baby. Through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. All right. I guess I will. All right, so I paid Eld Alden for his, for his info, for his information on the stagecoach okay, that's coming that's around the mountain when it comes. Thank you, all. Thank you for your support. Looking out for my financial well-being, I guess. What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance. The unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, Strawberry, could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that mining business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so... <laughs> dear right. boy, all this trouble, oh, shit. you gentlemen are becoming quite the celeb. God damn. Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad. Okay? Oh, okay. What's gonna go wrong? Are we doing a stagecoach like heist now? Is that happening now? Also, I, th I feel like... It's, okay, this is off topic, but the the deer problems that I've been having. Shit, 
I feel like it's when I'm in this area where or the area where I can't use my weapons. I feel like is when I was having those little problems where I couldn't okay. kill the deer. I think sure. maybe sure. I should test that theory. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. How are we? Well, yeah. How are we gonna get stagecoach? Luke is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and release. Oh! How do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, old and very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, Mrs. the way the runs around Hold tight. They'll be here soon. Okay. All right. Well. There it is, right on top. Oh. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And All right. Please leave that gun in its holster for once. What gun? This gun? This gun right here? This is the gun you're talking about? Oh. Okay. Is this far enough back? I'm not even sure. Am I supposed to be closer? What's what's going on, man? It's tail tail of the stage couch. Okay. Whoa! Where the fuck am I at? Hopefully I'm like coming with them and I'm not just stopped in my tracks back there. Oh yeah, I'm okay. I'm following. Oh god. Would, could, could you? It's, it's such a small show, but would you sing something for me? I, I'm looking for a mezzo soprano. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. <laughs> oh god. Very forward, Trelawney. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Is this is this me now? Is this on me? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We got this. Oh yeah. Yeah, you keep going. Yeah. Okay. Break it. Don't even turn around there, friend. What do we got? Money pile? Leave. Undetected. I'm gone, baby! Oh, boy. <laughs> I, I've heard enough. What have you got? I can't say enough about Mrs. Damson. Magnifico. Nice. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Too bad it wasn't always smooth like that for us to do our little our heist and stuff. Just to have a, a guy like Trelawney in there just to freaking keep the attention away from the bad guys. Oh no, put that away. Nope. Oh, that no. Uh, 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 uh. Trelawney, that wasn't me. I promise you that wasn't me. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. Oh, you wanted me to walk up to you? Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. <laughs> it was easy. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. Okay, on, maybe. Over. Maybe not. Let me ask you a question. Does Alden got yellow by his name? Wow, there was that much money right there? Not bad. I like that. Hey there, girl. Hey there, girl. So yeah, like I said, no, it's not what I was trying to do. It's trying to look at the map. Now, I want to go. Jose is down there at the Braithwaite's. So that's where I got to go. All right, well, I am going to make my way to Hosea. So I'll see you when I get there. Take care, Trelawney. Shit. You're a marked man in the state of Lemoyne. Run, Arthur. Oh my God, what is going on? Holy shit! Holy shit! I need my fucking... I don't even have any of that. Okay. Okay. Sorry, guys. This is about to get a little... F yeah, this is gonna get a little hairy. It's gonna get a little hairy there, friend. I can't get it. Where's he at? Why are you guys attacking me like this? Is that it? I think that's it. God. Jeez. Freaking out of nowhere, dude. You better not at, oh, okay. Let's say you better not freaking try to take some morale points away from me because this isn't my fault All I was doing is just walking by or just riding by what the heck man Then I think there's should be a couple bodies Along this side, right? Oh Nope, that body is gone. That body is already seeped into the floor What is this? Oh, I don't want that. I have rifles. Fucking horse. Oh, and that stage says what that stagecoach is gone too. Why do you do that? Alright. Oh, I guess Hi. Don't talk to me. <laughs> oh, I guess I'll get back. Back at it. Yeah, I guess I'll get back at it. Oh god. That was just totally out of the blue and just unexpected. But whatever. I'll see you when we get to Hosea. Alright, 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 alright. We have made it to the Braithwaite Manor. Howdy. Hey fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Alrighty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys have a good one. Yep. Don't sip the moonshine too hard. Adi, adi, adi. Yep, 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 yep. Where? Is this where you want me to go? Oh. Howdy, Mark. Howdy. I take it going inside. What kind of guns do I got on me? Lancaster and then that. Oh. Well, here we go there, friend. Ah, please come in, sir. Thank you, my good man. This way, wow. sir. Take it in the fine joys of a tobacco. A to see you, ma'am. Who's all here? Well, 
Your friend, the other liquor vendor. Sean, Hello. Hosea. Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, <laughs> he is big and as dumb as he looks? Well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter <laughs> of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. So these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper? Bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. All right, I guess we'll be walking out now. I just, I just got here. Sean had the pleasure of hanging out while they were playing cribbage. Okay, that that's all. Okay, you just huffing your puffing, I guess. Okay, this is where Arthur wanted to go. He hopped on top of a hail stack or a hay stack. What are we doing? No one's telling me shit. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. A smug fucker. <laughs> and a smug fucker. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Yeah, using that back there. Moonshine? Horns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting she did. Really? Thinking this hell about my toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just not a hell, bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Jose really picked the right feller for tea at the manor, didn't he? Oh, he was giving his usual planet. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. But they're really barely so bloody money at the end of all this. Right. Jose knows what he's doing. I don't think Jose there's... Knows. The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the brake weights still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. He just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. <laughs> oh, I God. Just go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I guess we will leave it to you, Sean, to see what you got. See what you can do, Sean. All I know is that we're about to go torch some freaking tobacco fields. And if we get caught... Oh, my God. It's not going to be a pleasant situation, right? So is that it for the convo, Sean? Nothing else you want to talk about? Nothing else on your chest that you want to just get off? Whoa. Hold up a second. All right. You're not worried about them grays, English. Excuse me? You not worried about them grays. In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're oh, right. Oh, yeah. You know what? Here. Hey, there's my gun. Stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go that far. Oh. Okay. Use R to look around. Boy. I've, uh, I've, there, there was a thing. Oh, you don't see me moving around back here? What you talking about? Well, this, uh, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, oh. Uh, 
have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand. Uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions. I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, oh, God. Uh, before the officials got there. Oh, they God. Said, okay. <laughs> Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Oh, God. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> I was say, you sent her just wolfing it down. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? My people come from Scotland. Nearly brothers. <laughs> you just slagging that back, dude. Yeah, straight down the path here. You guys gonna be wasted before we're done. You track all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so. You folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. It's disgusting. Huh. Oh, dear, Is that oh, us? Dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Alrighty. Ooh, undercover. Here we are. We made it. Hamish, you look like a very happy in fellow. Here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> he said, Excuse me? Take out what the guard. The you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real okay. fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable. Eh? Here we go. Well, Here we go. On shy, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Hamish. Okay. You can hold up in here till it gets dark. There you go. There yeah, you no. go. Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. I'm excited. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. I'm excited. Dry tobacco fields, baby. Let's freaking light on. these bitches sure. on freaking yep. fire. Deal with the fields themselves. Let's set them ablaze, Arthur. Put everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock boy. I was born born in down manor houses. <laughs> Here we go. Where do you want me to go? Follow Sean. There's someone coming on the left. Oh shit! 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 That's not where we were, were they? Where were we? Payroll. Yeah. Ooh. Let's get this job done first, okay? I'll take oh. care of this fella. Oh, dude. Hell yeah. Should I follow you, kind of? To stay close? Oh, God. That sound effects for that. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. You got it, bud. Stay out of trouble. Be safe, Sean. 
Am I? No. Let me get into the red. Or the... Yeah. I don't know how... How how do I do this? Okay. Yeah, that's good. That good boy. I guess I'll just go into the areas and pour until it disappears to my radar. Oh god. I didn't notice that that guy was right there. Okay. Let me just go around. Let me just go around. Can I take a little swig off this myself too, by the way? <gasps> How do you not see me? Don't worry about me. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Here we go. Okay. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm up to. I don't know who I am. Come on. There we go. There we go. Now let's do this a bad boy and move on to the other areas. I got what? Three more marked areas. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh. Oh, I'm a ninja. I'm a ninja. I'm one with the knights. I don't know how these guys don't see me. Oh, I didn't see the percent oh, percentage over there. Next! Yeah, I don't know how these guys aren't seeing me when I'm freaking just just written their line of sight, right? Freaking video games. Then what? Alright, I gotta get over to this big old field. Not bad, not bad at all. I think this is the last last one too. Nice. No, 31%. Oh, I gotta get over to that field now? Oh, you don't hear no pitter-pattering going on out here. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh God. Was that, was I supposed to drop that jug like that? There's Sean, you little frisky motherfucker, you. You going for it, Sean? Yeah, you get him. I'm gonna douse this too. What's this? A drying house or some shit? Can I loot him? Sorry. I just wanna... Am I supposed to be helping? You go, Line her up. Here we go, baby! Would you look at that? Yeah! Now let's burn those bloody fields to the ground. I got the right hand! Nice. Nice. Yeah. What about the other fields? What about these ones? All right. Alright, alright, alright. Hold on, hold on. Oh shit! Got him! So... Pretty sure... Oh, you want me to... Hold on. Got him. Tagged him. Alright. But I think there's somebody over that way, right? Hold on, Sean. Yeah, yeah. Got him. All right, Sean. The wagon we saw come in. Here. Can you nick the horses from that? All right, where is? Are you talking about the payroll? Look out. Here come more of them. 
Where? I can't see anybody, Sean. Sean, where are you going? I can't see anybody, dude. Ah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> An escape horse has died? Why did my guy target it? Why did you target it? All I did is hit the, the aim and I went to where you automatically aimed. What? Let's try this again. Oh, rifle, huh? All right. Where? Right there. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Nope, I didn't get him. Nope, didn't get him. These guys are taking a little bit more time. Is that better? Okay. They didn't tell you there'd be an army of them? They didn't tell me nothing. Shit. Now those horses are bolted. Shit. And this is where we uh, pick up our other plan. Go on, man. Lead the way. Look out. Here come more of them. Where are they? <laughs> the ones that I killed already? Nice. better get us paid real well for this. Bloody right. I want out there. Now. Come on. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. We are really set this place ablaze, didn't we? Oh yeah. Alright, this time, do not. Okay. Right, why are you aiming at him? No, no. We did good, Morgan. We did good. Great, but let's go. Looky here, you get them horses free, Marker. Cut free, baby. You want me to ride this bad boy? Wait for Sean. Come on, Shawnee boy. Hold on. Do I still got that chocolate bar, I wonder. Okay. And we go, baby. Oh god. Don't mind the bodies, horsey. Is there more still? Yep, I see one right there. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I just ride right through it and you jump over it. So who else? Oh God, look at it. It's the blaze, baby. You call that a party? That break we had got our money's worth, Ali. Let's just get out of here first. Yeah. Let's just get out of here. Let's, let's not count our blessings just yet. I'd imagine we're going to get freaking chased down by some people. Usually it, it is never going smooth like this. I think we lost them. Yeah, baby. Now we 
dead. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Uh. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I don't know where my next missions are going to be at. So, might as well go to camp and start from there, all right? Probably will be something that'll pop up right from camp because I took care of Trelawney and I took care of Hosea. There's those fields set ablaze. There you go. That'll show you. So I didn't quite catch like why we did that though. Is it like, what's the, what was the purpose of us sabotaging? Is this, that's what the Braithwaite or Catherine Braithwaite wanted us to do to the Greys, right? I guess so. Dude, I had some pretty good licks today. Two today. I got some pretty decent cash. I like that. I like that a lot. But all right. So we're here in camp. Maybe the stew's ready. Is that Molly? Micah. Okay. Micah. Yeah, so I guess I'm gonna go do some missions. I was gonna say, yeah, maybe I should get some shut eye too, and then wake up and freaking hit up Micah, see what's up with him. Where's the food? Is it just not out during the nighttime like this? It makes sense for it not to be out, right? Hey, Pearson. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Okay. I can get some of this, All right? That's available. I didn't eat no stew recently. What the hell you? Hello. you fucking liar. I guess I'll eat my own shit. What do I got? Baked beans. I'll eat some baked beans. Now I use some more baked beans. So I'm pretty sure my health or my weight is telling me that uh, I need to eat more because my weight is just what fair. So I guess I'm just gonna down a bunch of food. Chase it with some, what's this, some, is it crackers? This chocolate bar? I haven't even eaten this chocolate bar this whole time. I've had this shit, what, I'm in episode freaking, what is this, 12 now or something? Let me down it with some, some gin. There you go, there you go, that's a meal right there. Not bad. Not bad at all. But like I said, I think I want to go get some shut eye and then wake up. Nope, nope. Nope. Until noon? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get some shut eye till noon. Then we'll wake up, see what Micah has in store for us. What what is on the menu with Micah? Every time I do something with Micah, it just leads into frickin' pain, misery, agony for the people involved. You know what I mean? What? Okay, Micah. Micah. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called. Hey Molly, where's Dutch? Well, However it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson. <laughs> into shit. Gone and lighten the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. <laughs> you tell him, fat man. The Adriscals. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you what? talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the Adriscal boys on the road in the town. Things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway. Okay. <laughs> but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things. Like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. 
then. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch. Do what has to be done. Dutch still has that bullet hole in his goddamn hat, man. It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap. But what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. <laughs> Doesn't say your lives. Because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. A long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Really? Mm. That was his way of getting back? As you say, it's a long time ago. Dutch. Oh my god. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. <laughs> oh, Pearson's already sitting back down. Okay, cool. Oh, let's do the damn thing. Let's go see what this is about. There's no way this is gonna be good. There's I'll no way. Then, Let's go then. There's no way. Sorry, Dutch, you're a little bit slow though. There we go. There's no way. You killed you know, his brother. I've been fighting Combe for so long now. I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes. Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. Just nervous. All right. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. Things are a little bit more riskier than back in the day. Now it was. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us because of Blackwater. Oh God. And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then who knows when this local hillbilly oh. thing will come? Off road. Hmm? And we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts. And Odris. <gasps> there is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but. Like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You Where are you going? Place, don't you? I do. Yeah, yeah. I got many rifles. Judge, walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us. Hmm? Oh, God. Okay, just keep calm. I shall give you a reason oh God. not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will That's a lot of pressure. Oh, my dear and true. That's a lot of pressure. With you watching over me, <laughs> I would walk into hell itself. As would I. Oh, shut up, Micah. Oh my god. I don't know. I'm not feeling super confident coming into this. There's a lot of pressure being put on me. You guys are going to be just walking up in there and I'm just going to be just standing back with my gun at the ready. Oh wow. Where do you want me to go? I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Right. Where do you want me to perch up at? Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. Well done. No, 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 my God, no, 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 no. Caring too much. You get carried away and let the anger get the best of you, and you get blinded by rage, and then you kill the whole fucking town. Horseshit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Hmm. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation, man. Created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too, but it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? 
Man, Dutch, you got all philosophical and shit on us. Try. All I ask is you try. I thought you weren't down with this, Dutch, and now you're getting all philosophical and just trying to make it a point right, of just now, to like I don't know. To really convince me. Alright. Alright. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Alright. Let's get up to our bird's nest. I don't have a good good feeling about this, man. Is this a wrong way to go? Is that not supposed to go this way? Oh God! Ooh, what's okay, this? Oh, it's just a fire pit. Oh, I was wondering what the fuck was going on right there. Ew! I don't want to be next to this dead dog. Where's... Oh, okay. I was wondering, where where's the other people at? Dutch in his freaking his bullet hole in his hat. Hello, Dutch. That's the man. Been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh... That's the man. Doing? They still believe in you? Better how's your gang doing? Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? It's the same for you. How are you doing? How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, this is a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Holy Wouldn't they so have somebody up watching them as well? To bring you in? Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Fuck! I knew it, dude. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Hello, sugar. You ain't dead, is you? Not Oh, what about fucking Micah and Dutch? Handing them over to the lords. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. What am I doing? We can draw them all back. True. Is the ship in shoot him? Flash. Flash. I got him. I got him. No. Oh, not yet. No, of course not. Not yet. God damn it. Did he really just did it? What? What's going on? Oh, I'm on the back of somebody's fucking horse, aren't I? Ugh. Ah! 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 Where's Micah and Dutch, man? What happened between calm? Finally, put his weapons over there. That's funny. You sound like Sean, and I don't mean that just because you're both Irish. I mean, that sounds like literally the same guy who did Sean's voice. The actor did the actor for that O'Driscoll. Which I mean, why not? They're freaking. Some have Irish accents as well. It makes sense. So there's Calm. Where's Dutch and Micah? North 
for Morgan. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's good to see you. Uh, hello, Cole. <laughs> He's, uh, hello, Cole. How's the wound? I hardly feel it. You will. <laughs> Septic. Now, tell me. Fine gun like you. Why are you still running around with old Dutch? Could come right with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. No, no. It's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Six point I ain't got no yep, yep, to yep. Talk about. That is so yep, yep. Yep, 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 that was me. Yep, yep. I thought Dutch preached truth. There <laughs> you go, Cole. And then all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, <sighs> me and him, they forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sword. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you. Fucking calm, dude. You're an angry Dutch I know you would. Grab all of you. Hand you. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Oh. <laughs> Arthur. I miss. Why you gotta hurt me? You said you missed me. Oh gosh, man. Okay, so that explains it why. Yeah, they, they met up with Dutch and Micah just so they could freaking get me. How do I know Michael wasn't in on that? Because he just so happened to want me to be the one to looking over you guys. Like, oh, but with you looking over us, Arthur, oh, we'll be safe. You can swing on. Okay, you want me to swing? I see a knife. All right. Swing. Swing left. Swing right. Swing left. Swing right. Swing left. Swing right. Grab file. Bam, bitch. Bump my microphone. Nice get up, Arthur. Heat. Okay. Good enough. Oh, we gotta carterize this mofo. Ah! Oh wait, no. Or do we need to get something out? Position the file. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I'm just twisting and positioning. Oh. Twisting and positioning. <laughs> We're just a good punch. This will... We're good. Really? Is gunpowder... Is this really a thing? I don't even know if this is a thing. Is this a thing? I feel like this is not a thing. I feel like we'd be um, creating some sort of toxicity in our bloodstream. Or... Oh, God. Uh. Okay. All right. Cauterize a wound. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I don't wanna go to Mexico. I wanna go home. Home. Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. What the hell? Bam, bitch. We got him. Yep. We're not out of energy or anything right now. We're freaking just a beastie. No loot. No lootations. No salutations. Well, I got these throwing. What's he still doing down there? Oh god. Think torturing a man. It's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. He better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. Leave the area on a horse. Prisoners out! Don't let them get to those weapons! Shit! 
What weapons? What weapons? Shit. I can't see him. Shit. 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 Fuck. I didn't realize that I lost all of my freaking bullets or I had no bullets. Okay. So maybe it's not smart to just go straight out to freaking start murdering people. It's all about stealth. It's all about stealth. Okay. What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You okay. Hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. All right, baby. All right, baby. What are you doing? Morgan's out. Don't let him get through. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, take. I don't know. Oh shit. Shut the damn door, please. Isn't it supposed to be a gun? Why is there a gun right there? I don't see no gun. Shit. <laughs> you take that shit. Recover, 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 recover. Shit! 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 Okay, okay, we might be good. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I need... Yes, I need to get to the goods. Where's... Yeah, this. Okay. We good? All right. All right. I think we're good. Let me just kind of scan over everything because I just have no idea. All right. Where's my horse? Which one's mine? I don't know which one's mine! I think it's that one right there with the light. This one? You my baby? All right. Sam, your horse is dying, dude. Oh, Driscoll's are searching the area. Why are they searching the area? Shit. Why is my morale going down? Oh, this is a very intense time. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Don't pay attention to me, fellas. I don't know how you guys aren't seeing me, but whatever, right? Okay. Is there more Driscolls? I don't know why I put it in cinematic mode. It might not be the wisest thing to do right now, but.
Let's just do it. Cinematic, baby. Oh, there we go. And we we uh we passed out. I'd assume we passed out. <laughs> Arthur, dude. Wait till you get back. And just like Dutch and Micah, they're gonna wonder like, where the fuck did Arthur go? We talked to Calm, and then we're supposed to meet up, and then we just haven't seen you, Arthur. Where it seemed like people would be freaking, just freaking out about me, you know? Are we home? I think we're home. Yeah. Anybody? Arthur. Who's that? Mary Beth? Arthur? Karen? Uh, I told you it was a setup, Dutch. Oh, my boy. My dear boy, what? They got me. But I got away. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Man, Scrimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. Oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. Oh, God. You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. You're safe now. That's pretty tough. Oh, dude, I bet Pearson feels like a fucking ass. I wonder how Micah feels. You sit with him a you probably don't give two shits. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You probably was in on it, shit. You're home. Shit, now I gotta go into recovery time. There's gonna be a little time lapse. How much longer later? Oh wow, look at that book. Wow, look at the rack on that one. A few weeks later. So there you go. A few weeks, baby. And I still can't I'm be recovered be all the way. In you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, Reverend. Oh, look at that freaking beard. We need to chop oh. that bad boy off, dude. About the same as you. Damn. Oh my I'm god. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. Wow. Hella fucking beer, dude. I like the hair, but we gotta do something with the facial hair. New journal entry. Hold on. Journal. No. Journal. No, the journal. Oh my god. Why is my journal not fucking okay? Whatever. I'm trying to look at my journal, but my journal's not popping up. So whatever. I don't even give a shit. Good morning, Arthur. Oh, good morning, Molly. I was wondering what you were doing. Nah, I think I'm gonna. I don't really need to contribute right now. We got other stuff we're doing. So, are you serious, Swanson? Wait a minute. Wasn't he just talking to me? Didn't he come up to me and just say, I thought I was going to have to bury you, Arthur, or Mr. Morgan, or whatever he said. Dude, you got trash in minutes. That's wild. Okay. Here we are. We're at this shaving station. I think I want to keep my mighty stash, man. Oh, yeah. Palm made the head. I think I want to take down the chin. Yeah. And I'm going to take down the chin. And we're going to keep a nice fat stash on the on the man. Oh, dude. Let me look at you, Arthur. Oh, look at him, dude. Oh, man. All right. So who do we got? There's a B for nobody here. Holy shit. Where the hell are 
Bill Williamson, okay. So that's true, I need to go me. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna go head over to Bill. Well, no, Bill. Bill. That's a business I know nothing Morning. about, Reverend. Uh, that's between you and God. Sometimes I feel as if he cared. He would have killed me years ago. That's a feeling I can relate to. <laughs> Are you not wasted anymore? I'm confused, Reverend. Well, whatever. Okay. You do you, but... I'm confused. And there's a question mark over here. Last time I come across these, it's usually somebody wanting to talk. So me and Tilly gonna have a little a little one on one. I'm down with that. You wanna talk? I think of all times this would be a perfect time for me to sit down and talk. Yes. What's been going on with the you? The shit that I just went through, man. I don't know. I what? Been acting kinda crazy. Mm -hmm. Tilly, your eyes. Okay, I've been getting real violent for no good reason. Hurting people just for the sake of it. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. That's real bad. I know. I just, well, you know me. Sure, I know you. But then you go act all crazy. Sure, but I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Ma <laughs> could put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. You know, there's always that. Oh, Tilly. Thank you. This has been good. I love it. I love how I have these little sit downs with everybody and we get to chit chatting. I get to dis. Okay. Uh, hi, how you doing there? Where's your hands go, Pearson? <laughs> Is it because I started watching? <laughs> it was. You talking to Grimshaw? Mr. Morgan, I feel I made a bit of a fool of myself again. Okay. Uh, we've all done it. And you saved my life again. Well. Maybe one day you'll save mine. Or oh, my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I stole this from one of those awful men. You should have it. Hello, Abigail. Miss Grimshaw? Thank you, Reverend. Well, thank you, but... You were blind drunk. I was drunk, but I never forget my manners. Be well, Mr. Morgan. Huh. Thank you, Swanson. Will you be well, too? I'll try. I really will. Stay off the sauce, my good friend. Where's my horse at? The letter. Nah, I ain't gonna waste my time with no damn letter right now. I need to get to business. To go meet up with Bill Williamson. Silver dollar. Oh. I was looking at Javier out there and it's like silver dollar. Like, who the fuck's silver dollar? But alright. So, I am on the road again. And yeah, I will. I'll be right back when I meet up with Bill Billiamson. So, yeah. See ya. All right, we're gonna leave my horse right out in the middle of the road. Okay, you got it there, pal. See a horsey? You gonna go meet up with all the other horses? Well, I'm oh. sorry to have kept you. Come on. Fuck off, Let's Micah. Let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them and their pen. What kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. 
This seemed legit to you, Bill. Sure. God said we was to keep on dealing with them until huh. we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what if they were born in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, uh, that's so. Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these gray boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead oh. of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying the Catherine Braithwaite. Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right. I could have told you. That. Oh my God, dude. Oh, you son of a fucking bitch, dude. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? I can't believe this! He's fucking dead, dude. How could you not think this was a trap? You sure you want to talk about this now, Morgan? You asked him to Fucking Sean, dude. I can't even take the time to freaking process this shit. Hold on. Sorry. God damn it. Come on. Come on. You're getting sloppy, Morgan. Shut up. I just want to switch my gun. I don't want this double, double burrow. God fucking damn. Let me get some food in my body. Sheriff Gray. We'll find him later. Come on. God damn. Sheriff Gray! You need to get a hold on this town. It's going to hell. Freaking setups all over the place. This is the freaking episode for for setups, dude. Being double crossed. We don't know what you've been doing. Come out, Sheriff. It's over. We just killed your town, dude. We put down far worse than you a hundred times over. 
<sighs> what are we waiting for? Get your ass out here. Oh god damn. Now. Both of you. Don't do it. You know we can't do that. You put the gun down, Sheriff. I don't I barely have out. any dead eye, dude. Little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan? Right. Oh god, I see that. Oh, that's a fire back there. I thought that was blood just splattering out. No, man. No. Well, how the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what? Six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Bury him proper someplace quiet. Micah? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. To be honest, I don't even know if Micah, like, I feel like he was a part of setting me up. So, I, I just don't know. I just don't know. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding Holy together. shit, dude. What a goddamn mess we are making of things. Holy shit. Oh my god. It just like, I don't know. It's so weird just that it just happened with freaking Sean. And just being right in the midst of talking, right? He was just in the midst of saying something. And then boom, it happened. It's so freaking wild, man. I don't even know if I'd have... What does Dutch gotta say? Dutch needs to speak to you. I don't even know, man. Oh, yeah, now we're all freaking... Shitty with these people in the town of Rhodes. I don't know. I guess I'm gonna go chat with Dutch. I'm not that far out. I just need to turn around and... And of course, it's a freaking storm like this happening at the same time. Dutch, we need to talk. Holy shit, dude. And he seemed like an aspiring... I guess outlaw, like, Sean... He really wanted to come up. He really wanted to prove himself within the gang and... So, like, he he wanted to break off, I don't want to say more than he could chew, but he really wanted to break off a bigger chunk of responsibility and show that he could, he could handle himself and, you know, some way that we could rely on. <sighs> so wild. I know you worry. Everybody's all congregating right now. Have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Oh, Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, I, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him. We will bring him back to you. And we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail. You have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch! We just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you, let's ride. Whoa, this, uh, whoa, whoa. Okay, 
They changed that up really quick. That it was not like this just a minute ago. But okay, all right, we're 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 deep. What is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's like seven or eight people. What the hell? Thought we were gonna come back and I was gonna talk to you about Sean and Jack's freaking gone now? I don't know how you could. That's your fucking son, dude. What is going on this episode? Right. I agree. If there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. They underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on. Yeah, this episode has just been flipped upside down, twisted around. It's freaking intense. I mean, the first fallout we had was one thing, and then the second fallout we had, but then all of a sudden, boom, here we are with this. Wonder what it looks like in first person. Oops, sorry. Here we go, buddy. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches. John, I need you to stay calm. Oh, wow. Here we go, baby. Get down here now, you inbred trash. Oh, I, I'm not even walking. The whole time I was thinking I was in charge or I was in control easy John we've come for the boy you must have known we would you shouldn't have messed with our business now should you whatever complaint you have with us alleged or otherwise that is a young boy that is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. Here we go. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this. Oh God, did I really die? Yeah, you did. All right, get good cover, Jordan. There's a, there's a lot of bullets flying around. Got him. Let's take these sons of bitches out, bitch. Oh, we won't. Find that 
I am gonna bust out the double barrel for this. Thank you very much. Jack! Jack, can you hear me? Oh, I need to go in this room. I I'm sorry. Jack, you in here? Ooh, what'd that say? Gold? Oh, wow. Yeah, I'll take that. I didn't realize that I could loot at the same time. No. Let's kick this bad boy. I had my shotgun now. Why do I have my pistol? Yeah, I want this gun. Hey, there's stuff here that I could take. Hey, John. Coming. Oh, shit. Die, you sons of bitches. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh god, there's a massive amount of people over here. Who else do you see out there? Oh. There we go. Now there is a gun. Hold on, there's a gun. Bolt action? Okay, I already have that. All right. Right here, baby. Let me help you out. One, two, three. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. And that's what you get. Oh God! You want me to kill you too, old woman? You bastards! Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for a hundred and twenty years. We never had no problems except by Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son! Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? What's that? Health. All right, we get her out of here. Oh, I was gonna say that's. Oh, is that your boy? That was one of her sons. Holy shit, dude! I was wondering what who's no who that was. It sounded like somebody was fucking choking. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys started the fires already? <laughs> oh. Let me get that head off you, boy. Adios, amigo. I 
guess I got a hat out of the deal. I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are liquor. off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, mister. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. She already lost it all. Oh my god. He took already so much from her. It's just like, just leave her. We fucking, we killed her sons. We burned her estate to the ground. Basically, probably everything that she has is just, is just done for. Her. It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She... She'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this, logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? The boy will be fine. But, well, of course, Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. <laughs> for nothing. No. No. Not for nothing. It basically was like for nothing. Now we get that boy back and we go. Trust me. Hey Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. <laughs> this oh. a solution. Fuck. Good day. Come on. People. Mr. Vanderland, Mr. Matthews. How can so you? much negative shit Good happen day. in one episode Good like this? Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Wow. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Wow. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you. I didn't think you'd recognize me with my new stash in my hat. Moron. And my pomade hair. Aware, but this, this is a civilized <sighs> land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity. And basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. <sighs> this place. Mm. Ain't no such thing. It's civilized. It's man. So in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'll be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? 
I know a big old house, hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure... Where no we got the guns? Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back. And we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! That's crazy. We just got oh, here. And we're... This, we're going in. We will go in a second. Um... This is actually where I'm gonna where I'm gonna end the episode. Wow, this is some intense shit. Like I was saying, so many just bad things have happened this episode. Holy shit. We get screwed over by the the O'Driscolls. We get screwed over by the fucking Greys. Jack gets abducted and if all of that wasn't enough oh yeah sean obviously during one of those little fucking getting screwed over he ends up getting himself killed well he doesn't get himself killed he just gets killed and then if all that wasn't enough we get visited by the freaking pinkertons by agent milton Who basically says that he's going to come back and if we aren't gone, then, you know, he's going to come back and we're all dead. Which, we're, that's the plan for all of us anyway, right? They want us dead. So, oh my God, so many things. Just back to back to back to back. And I did not expect for that bad boy to come. Like, holy shit. I mean, in every episode, there's probably like a thing bad that happens, right? I mean, it's a wild, wild west, basically. But in this episode, holy crap. Oh. So I don't know. That just makes me feel like this game's coming to a close soon. But then again, it's like I thought there was a lot more to this game. So maybe not. Maybe it's this is just a curveball that's being thrown in the story just to make it just just to totally change just what's been happening. So it's not the same. Shit, they're like, what I've been doing. They're going to throw me a massive curveball. So stay tuned. When we come back, me and John, we're going to go get this new place taken care of. And we're going to go from there and see what happens. I'd imagine we're going to go to St. Denis. Is that what it's called? To go talk to that um, Ange, Ange, Angelo Bronte. Is that his name? I don't, Ange, Angelo Bronte. So yes, like I said, I'm going to end the video right here. So if you liked the video... Give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. Please subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you. Peace. I did throw up the place. Peace. Peace.